Hello everyone, Jester Bell is back. We are outside again. I'm about to cough. <coughs> Good morning. So, yesterday, the Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse 2 trailer, or should I say, Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse Part 1 trailer dropped, and I absolutely loved it. Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse is a movie that caught me off guard because I didn't think we needed the movie. I, I was just questioning why we needed an animated Spider-Man movie out when we already had MCU Spider-Man. I went to the movie after it got really, really great word of mouth, and it became what I would consider the best Spider-Man movie of all time. That's right, better than the beloved Spider-Man 2. That might be an unpopular opinion, but I think it's true. Best Spider-Man movie ever made. One of the my favorite animated films of all time, and I was caught by a pleasant surprise by the trailer for the sequel yesterday, which feels like it's coming out a lot sooner than most animated sequels. I mean, I mean, it's been like five years apart from animated sequels. Um, uh, they maybe they learned their lesson. I, I know it's not the same company that did the Lego Movie, but um, it's the same creative team. You know, the writers. And I think maybe the animation directors as well. I'm not sure about that. But the Lego Movie 2, they waited too long and the sequel bombed. Uh, with Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse, I, I really like how we open with more Miles and Gwen. Because I really think that those characters have a lot of chemistry. And we really have a place for their relationship to go in this, uh, in this uh, movie. And I, they really tease that in the trailer, which I'm interested to see more of that. And we're going to actually see the other Spider-Man universes, and it's going to look like it's going to be very experimental with the different kinds of animation we're going to get in those universes, which I'm all for. One of the things I love about the Spider-Verse movie, the first one, is the fact that it experimented and was actually creative with the animation. It wasn't just another CGI animated movie. They incorporated elements of 2D, like how they would construct the eyebrows and the expressions, and I love that so much. Oh, what I love the most about the animation of Spider-Verse is how they incorporated it to look like a comic. There'd be some times when it would literally look like a comic book panel, people's thoughts would be appearing, and it was incorporated in the story in a clever way. So yeah, I'm thrilled that we're going to get different universes with different art styles, and it's just going to be such a creative film. Story-wise, I'm absolutely all for meeting more Spider-Men in the different universes. Uh, people have actually brought up to me this concern that the creative team behind Spider-Verse, um, they also did the Lego movie, they also did Cloudy with the Chance of Meatballs, uh, they, they also did 21 Dr Jump Street, they have a reputation where they'll do a first movie and it'll be really, really, really good, like just an instant hit, so good that they always get a sequel. They'll do the sequel and the sequel just will kind of fall on its face. That happened with the Lego movie, it happened with Cloudy with the Chance of Meatballs. So that makes me a little bit concerned because as good as this looks, I'm just concerned because of their track record, but what? it just looks like such a good movie. It looks like we just have such open spaces of where we can go with these characters, and it it, it just doesn't look like they're going to mess it up this time. We'll see. We have to see more of it, but bear in mind, this isn't just a one and done sequel. They, 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 this has to end into another movie. It's part one of two. So I would hope that they have a well set up story here, similar to Infinity War and Endgame, Endgame wasn't perfect, but I just really hope that this is well thought out, and I'm ex excited to see more Miles and Gwen development. I'm excited to see more of a journey into the Spider-Verse. I saw criticism. Some people don't like Miles Morales still because they see him as trying to replace Spider-Man. Um, Miles Morales is Miles Morales to me. I no longer see him as the Spider-Man replacement. A lot of times they'll use him as Spider-Man's sidekick, or they'll use him in his own separate universe. I think he's very clearly defined, even though he's still referred to as Spider-Man, as um, Miles Morales. He's Miles Morales. Maybe they should give him a different name other than Spider-Man, but in Spider-Verse, they're all kind of Spider-Man in their own universe. Um, I'm not upset by it. I, I've come to love Miles' character. Maybe not so much in the comics, but in terms of the Spider-Verse movies and in terms of the Spider-Man PS4 and PS5 video games. Absolutely love him there, and I love seeing more of him, and I love seeing Gwen Stacy as Ghost Spider. I, I still think it should be called Spider-Gwen. That's a lot better. So what did you guys think of the trailer? Are you enjoying this Spider-Man overload we're getting lately? Let me know in the comments below. Be sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you at the No Way Home premiere.